in a small town, in one of those states that's a square, is a tiny little village populated with wacky and eccentric characters. Hercules Old Man and his sister, Joshua Old Man, run a cute little local tiny uh, diner that only serves chicken noodle soup and coffee. If you ask for anything else, they kill you. Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, two customers enter the store. They're not from around here. And uh, they're arguing about something stupid. Look how stupid they are. <laughs> Foreshadowing. I'm just saying, if you repeatedly insist that you don't like the taste of human flesh, it kind of makes me suspicious that you do like the taste of human flesh. No. I don't follow your logic at all, ring-a-ding, doofus head. Also, just because you said that, I'm now going to smoke all of your cigarettes through my bum, and then I'm going to urinate in your pillowcase. I'm going to stop being friends with you, because the words you say make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Eat shouldn't die, you dipshit face fucks. But that's just how we say hi to people here. In this town called Wisconsin. <laughs> it's called Wisconsin? Oh, no, my mistake. That'll... Bite me in the butt later, right? Wah, wah, oh uh, no. Nah. Truth is, this is actually Colorado. In a state that's also called Colorado. I can sense that we're going to die. I really hope that one of you is a woman, because I really want this town to pass the Bechtel test. <laughs> well, we're two random customers, so the odds are pretty good that one of us is a woman. I'm not sure who, though. Are you assuming only one of us could be a woman? Couldn't it be both? Two women? Seems implausible. Please, just shut the fuck up. Please. What would you like to order at our restaurant? Wait! Do be forewarned that you must only order something that is either coffee or chicken noodle soup. If you do not order one of those two things, we will be forced to kill you. So please, I am legally obligated to beg, nay, plead you to only order those two options. Otherwise, things will get messy. And that would be unfortunate. Now, at this point, uh, the two customer characters are going to have a little side chat in which they soliloquy to the audience. Now, I noticed some people in the audience have been laughing. Uh, I have to inform you that that behavior is strictly prohibited. And we will wait patiently until all laughter ceases. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand, we are but strangers in a strange land, and that makes me skeptical of my gut feeling. Uh, Self-doubt? Imagine that. What a crazy concept. I would be inclined to believe that these fine fellows are but jesting and joking, that they are about to kill me and whatnot. So, do I trust my social bearings, or do I believe what they said? And that brings up another dilemma. If I go along with their joke, will it make a fool out of myself? But if they do joke, and I do not go along with it, will I brand myself an outsider and lead to violence despite the veracity of the diner owner's claims? Hmm. This is quite the dilemma. It'll take careful consideration of my options. I undertake this task with gravity and poise. I'm glad they have soup and coffee. <laughs> I fucking love soup and coffee. <laughs> The characters return to the counter, but this time we know more about them because what they said was revealing about their character. <laughs> One chicken noodle soup and coffee, please. I'm going to be bold here. One burger. <gasps> Hercules falls to his knees, no! sobbing. The one rule that takes place outside space and time has been violated. But Joshua begins to win. No, 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 Death is no, 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 and I am a robot that kills, but I feel pain and love as much as you. <laughs> it's just my programming that makes me a killer. May God have mercy 
on my virtual soul. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Coffee or soup. <laughs> well, I'm the sheriff, and I'm here all of a sudden. This is my son, Falls. We make fun of his name by making jokes that lead to the testes. I will fracture your testes. I love tax fraud. He tax fraud. I love tax fraud. And the military industrial complex. Joe Rogan. Please ignore him. He watches things on that darn YouTube. Now, uh, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have a fucking, uh, we're gonna have a situation you got over here. <laughs> I am very sexy. And this man ordered something that wasn't chicken noodle soup or coffee. Unfortunate. Uh, I assume you begged, nay, pleaded him to the best of your legal ability, uh, to not order that. I, and yet he disobeyed our pleas and threw his life away with such reckless abandon. Like a reckless little scallion pancake. <laughs> now he is deceased. And wh what are we to do? Uh, what incarnation of that? She is upset that he died. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I can understand, uh, of course. Uh, I understand that humans do not like to bear witness to uh, suffering. Anybody want to get high and play some macros and maybe have an orgy? Uh, no, thank you. And thusly, all these characters you've come to know are extinguished indiscriminately. <laughs> as they, their existences have been circumscribed only within the temporal range of the performance you just witnessed. But don't mourn their loss. Fiction abides by different laws. And remember, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Please clap. <laughs>